sanctuary into a studio to bring God's house to your house. Also, thank you for your loving contributions to the Fellowship of Faith via GiveLify and PayPal. Thank you for your gifts. Thank you for your gifts. Sunday is Mother's Day. Looking forward to Mother's Day. We're, we're going to highlight mothers on Mother's Day. And we're going to highlight our graduates. Congratulations to all of our graduates on Sunday. On Sunday, Lord willing, We'll still continue, even though it's Mother's Day, we're going to continue teaching through the book of Judges. That's where I have the unction to function. So looking forward to read, read Judges chapter 10 on for Sunday. Judges chapter 10 for Sunday. Get your Bibles. Let's get ready to get into the word of God for tonight. Let us pray. Father, as we study your anointed word, I ask that you will anoint me as I teach and preach your anointed word. Just as you bless me in the preparation, please bless me in the proclamation. And even speak to me prophetically from your word to your people. Cause us to be thirsty. Cause us to be hungry for your word. As the deer pants after the water brook, so we pant after your word. It is the word of God. The, the, the desire, the sincere milk of the word of God that we may grow thereby. So cause us our faith to be built and cause our inner man to be built up in you. And tonight as we teach on the favor of God, may we walk in your favor. May we have your favor. And we thank you in advance for favoring us financially, favoring our families, favoring our friends, favoring us evangelistically. Thank you for the favor of God. And favor me, again, as I teach and preach. In Jesus' name, amen. Tonight I want to teach on the favor of God. The favor of God. What a great Bible study it is. A phenomenal topic on the favor of God. And there are two poignant points that I want to erect and unfold regarding the favor favor of God. Number one, let's look at the origin of favor. The origin of favor is the Father. The origin of favor is the Father. If you have your Bibles, turn to Proverbs chapter 8, verse 35. The origin of favor is the Father. Proverbs 8, 35 says, For whoso findeth me findeth life and shall, here it is, obtain favor of the Lord. You can clearly see from Proverbs 8.35, the origin of favor, it comes from God, the favor of the Lord. Whosoever findeth me, findeth life, and shall obtain favor of the Lord, a favor from the Lord. Again, the origin of favor is the father in proverbs 8 35 you can clearly see the benefits of having a relationship with god it is it results in having favor watch what it says again for whosoever findeth me findeth life that's having a relationship with god and shall obtain receive walk in the favor the origin of the lord Favor is not trying to score brownie points with God. Favor is not politics. Favor is a divine principle. Favor is really God loving you in spite of you. Favor is God giving us grace, his unmerited favor. Again, in Proverbs 8.35, whosoever findeth me findeth life. This word life in Hebrew, it is literally green, flowing, lively, reviving. Again, it deals with having a relationship with God. Having a relationship with God produces fruit and favor. 
We, we, we need to have faith in his favor so we can produce fruit. I, I can say Proverbs 8.35 like this. The closer to God you are, the more favor you will have. And all through the scriptures, you will see this divine principle of the favor of God. Again, favor it's not brown-nosing God. It's not trying to score brownie points with God. It is not a politics. Favor is divine. It is a supernatural outpouring of God's love, God's grace. Grace is his unmerited favor. Favor is not something you can do to create. Favor is not a result of your own goodness. Again, the origin of favor is the Father. Favor comes from God. It's not about your giftedness. Favor is not about your talent. Favor is not about your ability. Favor is not about your uh, uh, gifts. Favor is about God's grace. The origin, number one, the origin of favor is the Father. Number two, the operation of favor is faith. Not only do we, did we see the origin of favor, but I want you to see the operation of favor. The origin of favor, once again, is the Father, the favor of God. And the operation of favor is faith. In this point, I want us to see that favor, I want us to see the favor of God in operation in the life of God's people. And I want you to be able to identify the, 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 the working of favor or the manifestation of favor in your life. Again, favor operates by faith. Just like the promises of God operate by faith, the favor of God operates by faith. Faith comes, favor comes through faith. A, a, a definition of favor is when God fixes his eyes upon you, that's favor. I also want you to know that the favor of God will make a difference in your life. Again, in this point, the operation of favor. I want us to be able to identify the operation or the manifestation of the operation of favor in the life, your life, or in the life of God's people. A Notice the operation of favor with Noah. The operation of favor with Noah. You can clearly see the favor of God in Noah's life. Genesis 6 and 8. But Noah found grace. Grace in Hebrew, again, is favor. Even in New Testament, it's favor. Grace, favor. But Noah found favor or grace in the eyes of the Lord. You know the context of Genesis chapter 6. God was mad because of sin. He was getting ready to punish sin and send judgment upon the earth via water. But Noah built an ark to save his family. Why did God do this? Why did God favor Noah? We saw in Genesis 6 and 8 that God was God favored Noah. But why did he do it? Genesis 6 and 9 tells us why. These are the generations of Noah. Noah was a just man and perfect in his generations, and Noah walked with God. So again, you can clearly see the operation of favor in Noah's life. But, but not only did we see favor in Noah's life, you can see the effect of favor in Noah's life through his family. Because favor has a rippling effect. Because I'm favored, my family is favored. Because you are favored, your friends are favored. Favor has a rippling effect. That's why I say that the same favor that is on this house can be on your house. Because there is a principle of corporate anointing such as there is another principle of corporate favor. The same anointing that is on this house can be on your house. Well, likewise, the same favor that is in this house can be on your house. For, for example, the descendants of the Kennedy family, they were favored. The descendants of the Bush family are favored. The descendants of Abraham are favored. 
And because you are a child of God, I want you to know that you are favored. You, 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 you walk in the favor of God, perhaps, and don't even know it. You are favored of God. The, the, the operation of favor in Noah's life, A. B. Notice the operation of favor in Joseph's life. I love it. Genesis 39, 1 through 7. You can clearly see the favor of God in Joseph's life as he goes from the pit to the palace. It was because of the favor of God. Genesis 39, 1 through 7. And Joseph was brought down to Egypt, and Potiphar, an officer of Pharaoh, captain of the guard, an Egyptian, brought him of the hands of the Ishmaelites, which had brought him down thither. And the Lord was with Joseph, and he was a prosperous man, and he was in the house of his master, the Egyptian. And his master saw that the Lord was with him, and that the Lord had made all that he did to prosper in his hand. And Joseph found, here it is, verse 4, found grace or favor in his sight. And he served him, and he made him overseer of his house and all that he had put in his hand. Verse 5, and it came to pass from the time that he had made him overseer in his house over all that he had that the Lord blessed the Egyptian's house for Joseph's sake. And the blessing of the Lord was upon all that he had in his house and in the field. There it is again, this this rippling effect, because you have favor, your friends will have favor, your family will have favor. Verse 6, and he left all that he had in Joseph's hand and knew not all he had saved the bread which he did eat. And Joseph was a goodly person, here it is, and well favored. And it came to pass after these things that his master's wife cast his eyes upon Joseph and she said, lie with me. Joseph, as you know, was sold into slavery because of his jealous brothers. Again, he went from the pit to the palace because of the favor of God was upon his life. And I want you to know that the favor of God will change your life forever. Let me ask you, how did you get out of school? It was the favor of God. How did you get your job? It was the favor of God. Perhaps you grew up in a shotgun house. Now you live in a 3,000 square foot house. That's nothing but the favor of God. In high school, maybe you were not selected as the most likely to succeed. But, but now you are relatively successful. You have more than enough. Listen to me. That's the favor of God. Again, in Genesis 37, G G uh, Joseph wore a coat of many colors. And because of it, Joseph's brothers were jealous of him. All I'm trying to say is, beware of the favor of God upon your life. People will be jealous of you because of God's favor on your life. Lord, have mercy. Everybody is not going to like the favor of God on your life. How, how did you become Alabama a and team chaplain? I get asked that all the time. This is the favor of God. How did you get to preach at such and such church? How did you get to preach at such and such conference? It's the favor of God. People want to know how you got what you have. They want to know uh, how you got to where you are. Listen to me. It's the favor of God. Additionally, you may be favored, but listen to me. You don't have a patent on favor. Because you are not the only one God has favored. Can I get a witness? Yeah, I know, I know God is blessing you, but you ain't the only one he's blessing. Somebody say amen right there. The, the, the favor of God in operation in Joseph's life. B, C, the operation of favor in the life of Ruth. Ruth chapter 2, verse 13. Then she said, let me find favor in thy sight, my Lord, for thou hast comforted me, and for thou hast spoken friendly into thine handmaid, though I do not like un unto the, thine handmaidens. Again, you can clearly see the principle of favor in the story of Ruth, in the life of Ruth. Here it is. Here's the principle I want you to see. Favor positions you for your destiny. 
Again, how, how did you get where you are? It's the favor of God because favor positions you for your destiny. Favor puts you in the right place at the right time to meet the right people. It's the operation of favor. And you can clearly see that in the life of Ruth. Listen to me. As a believer, you ought to expect favor. Wherever you go, expect the favor of God. And whatever you do, expect the favor of God. Even when you go to McDonald's, come on, talk to me. You, you may not get hooked up all the time, but, but every now and then you might get hooked up. Can I get a witness here? That's the favor of God. That, that, that parking spot, Lord have mercy, everybody else walking, you, you just pull right on in. That's the favor of God. So again, favor is God positions you to be blessed. You meet the right people at the right place at the right time. That's the favor of God. Somebody may pay your meal. Somebody may give you a gift card. Somebody may put a check in the mail. All of those things are not a matter of happenstance. Those things are a matter of favor. Can I get a witness here? Even if you find a $20 bill on the sidewalk, that's the favor of God. Somebody else may have lost it, but to you, it's favor. Come on, talk to me here now. See the operation of favor with Ruth. D, the operation of favor with David. You can clearly see favor in operation in David's life. 1 Samuel 16, 12 and 13, and he sent and brought him in. Now he was ruddy and with all of a beautiful countenance and goodly to look. And the Lord said, Arise, anoint him, for this is he. Then Samuel took the horn of oil and anointed him in the midst of his brethren. And the Spirit of the Lord came upon David from that day forward. So Samuel arose and went to Ramah. You can clearly see again the favor of God in the selection process of David as king. Jesse thought it was Eliab. He, 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 he thought it, it, it was Abinadab. He thought it was Shammah. He, he, he wasn't even thinking about Little old David. But when David comes in, God says, he is the one, anoint him. Then the Bible says, I love it, the spirit of the Lord came upon David from that day forward. So the selection of David, you can clearly see the operation of favor. I, I, I want you to know that when others overlook you, when others don't think about you, the favor of God kicks in. Because no one was thinking about David. David was overlooked, but the favor of God kicked in. Lord, have mercy. I, 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 I may not be the, the, best, the best preacher or the best teacher, but one thing I know, I'm favored of God. Everything that has transpired at the fellowship of faith is not because I'm such a good preacher or teacher. It's because of the favor of God. Even perhaps on your job, there are more people who are more qualified than you. But because of the favor of God, you have the position you have, the favor of God. David was overlooked. He wasn't even thought about, but the favor of God kicked in. And even in your life, the favor of God will kick in. Somebody say amen right there. 2 Samuel 7, look at verse 8 through 16. 2 Samuel 7, verse 8 through 16. Again, the favor of God in the life of David. Now, therefore, so shalt thou say to my servant David, thus saith the Lord of hosts. Watch what God says. The, the favor of God kicked in. David was overlooked. He was not even thought about. Watch what the Lord says. I took thee from the sheep coat, from following the sheep to be ruler of my people over Israel. The favor of God kicked in. Verse 9. And I was with thee wherever you went and have cut off all thine enemies out of thy sight. And have made thee a great name unto a name of great men that are in the earth. That's what the favor of God will do. The favor of God will change your life. Verse 10, moreover, I will appoint a place for my people Israel. 
and will plant them that they may dwell in a place of their own and move no more. Neither shall the children of wickedness afflict them anymore as before time. And as since the time I commended judges to be over my people Israel and have caused thee to rest from all thine enemies. Also the Lord telleth thee that he will make thee an house. And when thy days be fulfilled, thou shalt sleep with thy fathers. I will set up thy seed after thee. They shall proceed out of thy bowels, and I will establish his kingdom. He shall build a house for my name, and I will establish the throne of his kingdom forever. I will be his father, and he shall be my son. If he commit iniquity, I will chasten him with the rod of men and with the stripes of the children of men. But my mercy shall not depart away from him as I took it from Saul, whom I put away from thee. Again, you can clearly see. The favor of God kicked in David's life. Lord, have mercy. And David became a man after God's own heart. In the lineage of Jesus, we find David because the favor of God kicked in. Acts 7, 46, we found favor before God and desired to find a tabernacle for the God of Jacob. Everything that transpired in David's life was a result of the favor of God. E, the operation of favor in Daniel's life. Daniel chapter 1. Again, you can clearly see the operation of favor. Daniel chapter 1, verse 4. Children in whom was no blemish. Here it is. But well favored and skillful in all wisdom and cunning in knowledge and understanding science. And such as had the ability in them to stand in the king's palace, of whom they might teach the learning and the tongue of the Chaldeans. The favor of God in Daniel's life. Look at Daniel chapter 1, verse 8 and 9. And Daniel purposed in his heart that he would not defile himself with the portion of the king's meat, nor with the wine to drink. Therefore he requested of the prince of the eunuchs that he might not defile himself. Now God had brought Daniel, here it is, into favor and tender love with the prince of the eunuchs. Lord, have mercy. God brought Daniel into favor. And, and, and there are times in our lives when God brings us into favor. Watch this now. Even when Daniel was faced with peer pressure by King Nebuchadnezzar. It was the favor of God that, 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 that Daniel did not buckle under pressure. The favor of God. All I'm trying to tell you is from, from Daniel's life, you can clearly see that the favor of God sustains us in pressure. When you are faced with fiery furnaces, when you are faced with the lion's den, God will give you favor. Lord, have mercy. Anybody's back ever been up against the wall and God got you out of trouble? That was nothing but the favor of God. Have you ever been stressed? Come on, talk to me. But, but, oh Lord, but, but all of a sudden you had peace. That's nothing but the favor of God. God's favor. F, the, the operation of favor in Mary's life. Luke chapter 1, verse 28 and 30. And the angel came in unto her and said, Hail, thou art highly favored. The Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. And the angel said unto her, Fear not, Mary, for thou hast found favor with God. Mary was a recipient of God's favor. Many use this to ascribe divinity to Mary. But Mary was not the Christ. She was not the Savior. She was simply a vessel. She, she was favored among women, not above women. The favor of the Lord in Mary's life. And, and, and we too are blessed and highly favored. I mean, this is a great confession. Everybody say, I'm blessed and highly favored. How, how, how you doing, Pastor? I'm blessed and highly favored. 
and, and just like Mary was simply a vessel, a carrier of the Messiah, we too are vessels, a carrier of the Messiah, and we too are blessed and highly favored of the Lord. G, the operation of favor in Jesus' life. Lord, have mercy. Luke chapter 2, verse 52. And Jesus increased in wisdom and stature, here it is, and in the favor with God and man. Jesus walked in favor with God and he walked in favor with men. The, again, the, the, the favor of God was in full operation in the life of Jesus. His ministry was the favor of God. The calling of the apostles was the favor of God. His death and resurrection was the favor of God. It was favor that raised Jesus from the dead. You can clearly see favor in Jesus' life. H, the operation of favor in the church. Acts chapter 2, verse 47 Praising God and having favor with all the people and the Lord added to the church daily such as should be saved. I, I can't attribute anything as it relates to church growth to this church other than the favor of God. Why do some churches grow and some churches don't? Again, it's the favor of God. Why do people drive past other churches to come to this church? It's the favor of God. What makes worship anointed? It's the favor of God. What causes preaching to be anointed? It's not the hoop. It's the favor of God. So you can clearly see favor even in the operation of the church. I, the operation of favor in your life. Listen at this, Psalms 5 and 12. For thou, Lord, will bless the righteous with favor and compass him as a shield. I love it. I love it. Uh, I'm talking about the operation of favor in your life. Let me read it again. Psalms 5 and 12. Because we, we, we need to learn how to identify the favor of God in our lives. Psalms 5 and 12. For thou, Lord, will bless the righteous with favor. Hold on, anybody blessed tonight? If you're blessed tonight, it's nothing but the favor of God. Not only, hold on, will we'll bless the righteous with favor, will thou compass him with a shield? Lord, have mercy. So, so if, if God is going to bless the righteous, we, we must first know who the righteous are. The righteous are believers. They, they have been declared righteous in Christ. That, that, that's a powerful message. But because you are in Christ, you are righteous. And because you are righteous, you are blessed and you are favored of God. Lord, have mercy. Here we see God blessing us and we see the favor of God operating as a shield. Lord, have mercy. Again, not only do, do, do we see God's favor in the form of blessings, but we also see God's favor in the form of a shield. God's favor protects us from stuff that we don't even know about. It, it, it is his favor that, 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 that we can walk in 100-degree weather and not faint. It, 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 it's his favor that we, we can drive down the road and not wreck. It, 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 it's his favor that we can eat certain foods and not get sick. It, 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 it's his favor that we can go to sleep at night and, and not be robbed. It's his favor that, that we are still employed. It's his favor that we haven't gotten laid off. It, 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 it's his favor that keeps us and bless us. Somebody say amen right there. Listen at this, Proverbs 3 and 4. So shalt thou find favor and good understanding in the sight of God and man. This deals with having favor with God and man, just as Jesus did. Let me read it again, Proverbs 3 and 4. So shalt thou find favor 
and good understanding in the sight of God and man. Proverbs 11.27, he that diligently seeketh good procureth favor, but he that seeketh mischief, it shall come unto him. Lord, have mercy. Proverbs 12 and 2, a good man obtaineth favor of the Lord, but a man of wicked devices will he condemn. Proverbs 18, 22, whosoever findeth a wife findeth a good thing and obtaineth favor from the Lord. Proverbs 22 and 1, a good name is rather to be chosen than good riches and loving favor rather than silver and gold. Lord, have mercy. Having a good name is better than having riches. I mean, the name Judas was a good name, but he turned a good name into a bad name. Then Solomon says, favor is better than money. Because I have favor, I walk in prosperity. I'm closing. Second Peter 1 and 2, grace and peace be multiplied unto you through the knowledge of God and of Jesus our Lord. I already told you that grace is nothing more than unmerited favor. So uh, I'm closing. I, I thank God for his grace. I, I, I thank God for his favor. Lord, have mercy. Thank him for salvation. Thank him for forgiveness. Thank him for answered prayer. Thank him for his healing. Thank him for his blessings. That, 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 that's what his grace does. It, it is his grace that saves us. It, it's his grace that forgives us. It's his grace that heals us. It's his grace that answers our prayers. It's his grace that blesses us. It is his grace that gives us. You ought to thank God for his grace. Thank God for his favor. Put those hands together and give him some praise. The origin of favor is the Father, and the operation of favor is faith. Father, we thank you that we receive your favor, that we walk in your favor. Continue to bless this church, favor this church. Continue to bless families, favor families. And we again, your unmerited favor. In spite of us, you bless us. In spite of us, you, you, you are good to us. It's not because of our goodness, it's, it's your goodness. So the, tonight, Father, we just simply say thank you. And as Mary, we are blessed and highly favored. And may we use your favor to produce fruit in our lives, to let our light shine that others may see your good works in us, that we wouldn't glorify ourselves, that we would glorify you. So we thank you for favoring us so your kingdom would be expanded and that your name would be exalted. We thank you in advance for your favor. In Jesus' name, let everyone say amen. We are favored. Again, thank you for your loving, loyal support of the Fellowship of Faith via Give, Lafay and PayPal. And um, on Sunday morning, Mother's Day, see you Sunday morning at 8 a.m. and 10. You be blessed and walk in the favor of the Lord. Amen.